Definitely a fan of the 460 clear. And this is the next day and the product holds up phenomenal. So in this episode, we're gonna be showing you guys another product from Glazeret. So when we did this transition from PPG to Glazeret and you guys knew that Pat came in and trained me, we were using the 460 clear in all the videos. And that is the workhorse that I use every day here at the shop and we get phenomenal results from it. The next day, this stuff here holds up. I'll show you the gloss level on it. But we are a certified shop here, so we do BMW's work, and they make a clear, Glazerit does, that is designed for the BMW. So we have two BMW jobs. I want to go ahead. We're going to shoot those jobs with you guys, and we're going to try out this new clear coat that's new to me, and you guys will see it for the first time here in this video, or you might have seen it somewhere else. But it is the 109, and that is a Preflex Clear designed for doing BMW's work, and that's the one BMW recommends from Glazer to use. So being that we're the uh, certified shop in the area, we're gonna go ahead and start using that Clear, obviously, on those vehicles, because that's what they want us to. So let's go ahead, I'll show you the gloss on this, we'll prep out some cars, and then we're gonna shoot this one today with the 109 and see if this is the ultimate Clear Coat for BMW and maybe even some of the other jobs we're doing here at the shop. And I wanted to show you guys this one here as well. This is a job that we shot yesterday with it. It is a dark metallic. And this area here had a large area repaired in bodywork. And this job held up phenomenal with the primer as well as the base and clear coat. There's no dye back at all. So I'm really interested in trying out that clear being it is supposed to be a little bit better than what we're using here already. I don't know if that'll be true, but we're gonna go ahead and try it out in this video. So let's get over to the parts and I'll show you the vehicles that we're gonna go ahead and shoot today. All right, so this here's the vehicle that we're gonna be shooting one of them. We've got a, a dark blue BMW. And you guys know we always pull the parts off the vehicle. That way we do not have any overspray going into the jams and we do not have any lines or anything like that. Plus you can maximize your booth and get the most out of each load and get the most out of each day. So that's how we do it here. Not only is it faster, but to me, it's a better job. You guys see we've got the fender removed and the two doors. This is one of the vehicles here. And then we're doing the back end of one that got hit on the tailgate. We've got a new lower gate and a bumper for it. So let's go over there and I'll show you that. All right, so this here is the gate. This is one of the things that we did repair. We did some body work on it. We primed it last night so the primer is good and dry. Then we have a new cover and a new lower gate for this one. So we'll have a pretty good load in there. And I actually think that these might be the same paint code. We'll go ahead and identify that later, but let's go ahead and get these things prepped out. We'll start shooting them and uh, we'll see how nice of an outcome we can get with that new 109 clear. All right, so we've got everything loaded up on the stands. And when we're prepping out our parts, we use the same grits as we normally do. So if you're new to the channel, on our new parts, we always hit them with 400 DA. Our primer is gonna be finished off in a 400 block and then a DA as well. And then on our blends, we prep them out with 800 grit and then we go around our edges with a sky pad with K600. So we don't change from our normal day-to-day -day prep on any of our jobs. We always do the same procedures. That way you'll get the same outcome. And if you did have a problem, you'll know why you did. So stick to one plan, stick to one way of doing things. That way you just get faster and better at it. So let's go ahead and get these things prepped out.
All right, so we've got everything cleaned up and I wanted to show you guys a couple of items that I just picked up from Luma. They are getting into some other stuff, so let me show you guys some of that now. All right, so Luma has been making some fittings now. They got the high flow uh, female as well as male. I'm gonna leave a link in the description of this here video. That way you guys can get a discount off of anything on the Luma website. So they are making these, they're making an air hose I seen, and I'm really waiting on that lab coat to come out so I can pick one of those up. So let's go back in there and I'm gonna show you guys now some of the other stuff that's going on around the shop that we'll be doing a video on soon. All right, so this is one of the newer EQS 450s and check it out, we've got a satin. So we're gonna be doing this one on the uh, channel and we'll be testing out the Glazerit as far as their satin clear coats. And then there's a special thing that Glazerit actually does for the paint codes on these ones. So a little better than PPG. And uh, we'll be getting into this one here soon. We're waiting on the new parts to come in. I've got the blend panels and everything over in my area now. We had some doors that we had to replace and a bumper. So this is one we will be shooting soon, testing out the Glazerit Satin Clear as well as their uh, paint match on something like this. All right, so this is where I keep all my clears. One other clear that they have is the 550, and that is another speed clear from Glazer. So this is one I've shot, and I haven't showed you guys yet. We'll show this one in another video, but this one here is about a 15 minute bake. It holds a nice gloss, and it sprays almost identical to that 460. So that's the one there for the speed. That's the high performance 550. And then this is the one we use every day that you guys have seen me from the beginning using with Pat the uh, 460 and then I'll show you guys the new one that we're going to be using here the 109 so this one here is taller it's like the European how they used to do the old Euro clears this one here is two to one so this is the one that BMW recommends and this is the one we're going to be using on this here video and trying out with you guys so let's go ahead we'll get this thing uh, blown off tack we'll put some base on it and we're gonna be using all the Luma guns on this one. You guys know, if you follow me on Instagram, I've been spraying everything with Luma and it's been coming out phenomenal. The clear coats have been laying down. The base is looking uh, beautiful. The colors are matching. So we're gonna go ahead and do this one the same way that we've been doing with the Luma Exodus 3 and getting a beautiful outcome with those guns as well as the premium Lazarus clear coat. So let's go ahead and get this thing blown off and start shooting it.
All right, so we've got all the base applied. You guys seen it's a one and a half coat coverage with that glazer. The stuff is phenomenal. It's nothing else like it out there as far as I'm concerned that I've sprayed. And uh, it just covers phenomenal and it lays down flat. You guys will see it once I get back in there, once it flashes off. But you've seen me going in there and checking it with the light. That's what I do. No matter what kind of light you use, make sure you check for coverage in the dark once you're done in any paint line. So I like the Luma light. I keep it in my pocket in the front of my lab coat and I have it on me all day. And then I have another one I use when I'm just prepping around the shop, checking colors and looking things like that as well. So it's small, compact, and it does go on the gun. So I was doing a class the other day for iCar and it was called uh, surface defects and it was funny I was watching it and then all of a sudden Luma came up I'll show you guys right now a picture of it from uh, iCar them showing this light and how good it really works so don't be afraid to go ahead and pick one of these up from Luma it's definitely going to save you guys and it'll be well worth the money because you won't have redos anymore from pulling a car out in the sun and then having see-through paint so let's go ahead and get this thing cleared up. We'll be using the Exodus as well for the clear coat and we'll be trying out that new clear from Glazer. It's two coats, it's two to one, and this is gonna be a beautiful one once we get it all finished up.
I'll tell you what, now I know why that is the top dog for the Glazerit. That stuff has a lot of build and I'll tell you what, it looks perfect for the BMW texture. You guys know they have a thicker peel, which isn't as tight as some of the domestic cars. So I gotta say, uh, hats off to, uh, you know, Glazerit and that product there. And now I know why BMW wants that clear on their vehicle. So that stuff came out beautiful, it's clean. And one thing I wanted to tell you guys about clear coat is, there's nothing like clear out of the booth not being buffed. When that clear is drying, the resins all come up to the top of that clear and give it a protection coat. Once you sand it, from that moment on, you're gonna be polishing up that car and you're gonna have towel marks in it for the rest of its life. So if you can get a clean job that comes out as beautiful as that did there, and it's gonna be sealed up because it's never gonna be polished because that came out nice and clean, to me that is the ultimate. So wow, I, it's all I could really say about that product there and the Luma gun did a phenomenal job laying it out as well. So make sure you guys check into that clear if you're doing the BMW certified products and uh, you guys can see that we're using it here because we are BMW and it's nice to know that Crash Champions uses the premium products here as well for the BMW repair. So I hope you guys got something out of it. I know I did. This is the go-to clear from Glazerit and I'll tell you what, we're gonna start using it more often, I'm sure, on some of the other jobs because it is top of the line. So give this one a thumbs up and we'll see you guys on the next one.